Hello everyone, welcome back to another game preview video. Today I was on Twitter and saw some of the Star Trek Discovery actors talking about how they were um, characters or cards in this game here. This game is Star Trek Adversaries. I've been picked it up today, I've played a few games of it. It's a digital collectible card game, very similar to Hearthstone, or very, very similar to Hearthstone. A lot of the mechanics feel almost copied from Hearthstone in a way. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, play probably a couple games. We're probably going to play a game of a Federation deck and a game of a Klingon deck. And we're probably going to go into the shop as well, maybe pick some cards out and things like that. I'm going to basically do, do a quick overview of the game, uh, what I think of the game, and so on. So let's just go into the shop first. Um, so we have, looks like we have 2,000 Latinum and 1,000 Command Points used to purchase flagships and skins. Flagships are essentially... You're almost, if it's comparing it to Hearthstone, it's like your character, and each flagship has different abilities that it can do. So we're going to go ahead and pick up a standard pack for 100 Lathanum. Let's purchase, Lathium, let's purchase that. And open packs. Uh, even the store feels very similar to Hearthstone, like with the, um, the way you purchase packs and so on. Let's see where the pack is. Oh, here we go. So very much like Hearthstone, where we actually had to drag the pack over. It's going to open. Does it have the hover mechanic, like? That's our rare, probably. So let's see what we have here. We have Genie. Uh, Core Breach, summon a prototype Bird of Prey into play. Core Breach is essentially their version of Death Rattle. So when this character dies, it will generate a prototype Bird of Prey. We have the Bajoran Research Transport. It also has Core Breach, so when it when it dies, you draw a card. Let's see. Um, the Korra Cruiser play Summon a Ferengi Shuttlecraft. That was our rare, so we have the Merrimack, which is Haste, plus three damage versus ships with Guardian. So Guardian is essentially this game's version of Taunt. And we have a Cavort Fighter, Cloaking Device, and Trample. Trample, um, if it's trampled like magic, it means it basically it just spill, damage spills over. There's um, haste in this game as well, so haste is, um, in magic, it can attack the turn you play. It's essentially charged from Hearthstone. Um, let me go back here. Deck, I actually want to put the Merrimack in my deck here, so let's see. What would we take out? Anything we have a lot of? I haven't really experiments or experienced experimented, I should say, with the deck builder a whole lot. Type 15, which is Guardian and Modulating Shields. Uh, modulating Shields are essentially um, Divine Shields from Hearthstone. Type 7 is a 1-2 with Guardian, I suppose. I could take that out. Let's throw the Merrimack into play now. Is that in the deck now? Ace may attack a turn is played. Guardian guardian enemies must attack this ship. Let's see where how it's sort by cost. Here's our deck. We have the type seven. Alright, US, USS Merrimack is now in a deck. Replicator. Let's see. See all the cards by activating the replicator. You can replicate a card by right-clicking and using either a token or latinum. That's essentially like disenchanting from Hearthstone. Uh, yeah, but uh, let's go. Um, let's ready. Let's play. And we'll just do single player. Just play against the computer to show you how the game works. All right, so here's our starting hand. The mulligan aspect is essentially the same from Hearthstone as well. So... Maybe we'll keep the three costs. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll just keep the guardian. Confirm. Draw two. So um, one thing that is interesting that does differentiate it from Hosan a little bit is crew cards. So crew, um, you basically put in ships, and then they affect that ship in different ways. So if I put Captain or Doctor Pulaski on a ship, um, when you retreat that ship, you can re you can pull ships back to your hand, retreat them. 
And some of them have a bonus for when they retreat. So if you retreat with Pulaski, you re, um, restore two health to all of your friendly ships. Uh, she just gives a either a defense or attack bonus to the ship. So we're going to play this, and now we'll attack. And attacking is very similar to her, so you drag your, um, your ships into your enemy, or your um, their minions, essentially. So we have a 5-4 of Guardian, we have that guy with Haste. That's a 1-2, that's a 1-3. We'll put her on in the... Crew her on that. Now it's a 1-5 with Guardian. Oh no, that one doesn't have Guardian. This one has Retreat. I can draw a card. So we have Guardian on that uh, Type 7. I think that's all I can do. When this special thing is full, or ultimate, you can trigger this to do different things. This looks like... They summoned. They summoned the Merrimack as well, and I just took damage on uh, my character. So I can do this. So I'll play that and draw a card. And who do we have here? We have uh, Stuart Rivers. Retreat. Um, if you retreat that character, you can return this crew to your hand. So basically, when you retreat, I think it goes away, but this lets you put it back in your hand. We have a 1-5. That's a 3-1. You can trade there. I'll take damage on that. That'll end my turn. And I feel that the Klingons also have a lot... Um, their crew cards are a lot more powerful. There's um, one of the... I forgot what they were, they were named. It was like the Dura sis, um, twins or sisters. Those two characters, one of them... If she's on a ship and it gets destroyed, you return that card to your hand. So we do have the 5-4 with Guardian. We'll do that. And every turn, um, this meter will go up. So my special... Let me see if I can show it. And they're shooting at me with Tasha Yar. Tasha Yar is on that ship now. And let's see. We'll remove Guardian from a target ship. So that's a pretty powerful effect. So if I do the special, I can bring in a Type 15 Assault Shuttle, which is a 2-1 with haste. If you do the ultimate, you can summon a Miranda-class Recon Ship, which, are, which is a 5-1 with haste. So I have 6 um, energy or mana, whatever you want to call it. There's a 5-2 with haste. We'll do this guy, and it'll summon a Maquis Ship. I have 3... Do Guardian and Modulating Shields. So, when this thing takes damage, it knocks one off the shield, and then it... Basically, it's Divine Shield. So it can um, take damage, and then still be around. Basically, the first hit is doesn't do anything. Alright, so we have the Miranda Clip... Miranda class, so it is it's a haste ship, and I can also do this um, Cardassian ship as well. I can also ultimate. So if I ultimate, and the one thing I don't like is the, when you're playing against AI, they start off with almost double the health. Um, I'm not really planning on doing a lot of retreating, so I don't know if he... Both these characters only really work if you are retreating. We're going to trigger... I don't think I can trigger my ultimate because I think I have a, too many ships out already. Yeah, I, I already have my full amount of ships. We have a 2-3. That's a 2-1. That's a 1-1. One, one. That will trade if I do that. That will trade if I do that. Uh, we'll trade here. Let's see. Got to do the 2-3. You can also just attack there. Or do I want to trade one of these guys? Uh, we'll trade. Klingons also seem to have a lot more ability to just generate other ships. And I'll lose that if I trade. Because it can uh, do two... Actually, no, it'll bounce, I think. Let me see. Three defense. It'll be a one. 
both be at one there. I could put a crew on. Now I can actually ultimate, can I? Yeah, I, got, I can get the ultimate now and draw up these cards. Which I had that earlier. The type 15, which gives everything haste. But I have the energy, the energy transfer beam. Let's check my turn was up. I didn't get to attack because I spent too much time. So like Hearthstone, there is a time turn mechanic. This auxiliary power is at health, I think. Dude, steal ten auxiliary power from the enemy flagship. Play that. Did that do anything? Oh, auxiliary power is this. Okay, so I refilled that a little bit faster. That removes guardian. Now, one thing that's interesting with the crew is if you put them on the blue side, they usually give you a defense bonus. If you put them on the red side. They will give you an attack bonus. Some of them only really work on defense. So Rivers and Pulaski are defensive. F5 left. Give friendly ship haste. Still have the Miranda class. And I have three I can use. Probably not going to retreat anything. What's this? Summon a Type 15. We'll do that. And now I choose one of these cards to bring into my hand. That's kind of useless right now. I'll bring in that. So these two can attack. Miranda, I'm just going to attack directly. This is a 5 1, so if I trade, I don't really want to lose it. Trade out on that. That will we'll trade there. I can get another shuttle pot out. This guy has haste now. Trade there. It's 20 to 48, and I guess I can play... I will play him and increase the defense on the Miranda next turn. So they brought a shuttle pad out with the Miranda. Which is... Deal one damage to something. Let's see what he does. Deal one damage to target, and Rand is give modulating shields if you played a ship with haste. This guy. Heal, target Guardian for three. I don't have any Guardian characters out right now. Haste. Heal, target Guardian for three. I don't really want to trade there because that's a little... We'll trade with that. Knock that out, I'll have one health left. They'll have one health left also. Now we'll trade here. This guy has haste. And what's his retreat bonus? Return him to your hand. I can't retreat, because I don't believe you can retreat and attack in the same turn. I don't have anything with Guardian, but... Go to our next turn here. They brought out a shuttle pod. They brought out their NX shuttle. Alright, we took a direct hit. We took damage. We have here. We have a guardian ship. Just remove guardian. Haste. Remove guardian from the target ship until the end of the turn. Do some damage there. You don't have anything with Guardian, but it never hurts to get those things out. It does have haste, though. You could trade here, but... There you go. They got their Cardassian ship out. Put my Guardian, but they took that out with it. Got blown up as well by a ship of haste. And what's he do? Uh, gain one attack when it be retreat a ship. We're just gonna straight up trade that. Activate the special and the sea. 
play this. Draw until you have four cards, and you basically get to draw two. So you have deal two damage to a target, or deal one damage to all enemy ships, once the ship is retreated. Put him on there for a crew. Alright, back to me. What do we have here? This is the Nebula class. Heal all um, friendly ships for two. None of them have taken damage yet. Heal two damage to a target. We'll do that to here. That's a 4 2. trade there and end our turn. They have another ship of haste. That got blown up. Yeah, so this game's gonna be over fairly soon. So I have no friendly ships. We have this guy. This is nine five. And that basically ends our turn. All they had to do is do one damage. They could just attack here and win. There's the Enterprise. This guy does. That's the game, but it's not letting me uh, actually see what the Enterprise does, but we can click anywhere to continue. All right, we are now back at the main menu. We're going to go ahead and go to the shop again. We're going to buy a couple more packs, and then we're going to play a game using the um, Klingon deck. Bought a standard pack. We have a Klingon pack as well. We're going to buy a Klingon pack. And I'm also going to buy a Federation pack. It's 100 Latinum. Go ahead and open these packs up. There's our rare. Looks like we have a double rare. Triple rare. We have Mara. Deal one damage to this ship when you play it. Why you really want to do that? Unless it's something that has um, core, like core breach. If the ship dies, you, something extra happens. So this is stolen Nebula, Nebula class ship. Two cost. Um, summon a 1-1 one -one shuttlecraft when it dies. You the Traveler, so retreat, grant one energy, so you get one energy when you retreat him, or the ship, the ship he's on. We have the Ixtog, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Cloaking Device is essentially their version of Stealth. Uh, destroy enemy ship with detection. All right. And this one we have the IKS Danas. Bloodthirst, uh, gain plus three attack and stealth. Done of this one. I'll go ahead and open this Federation pack now. Wish there was a way to basically just cut through this animation. This um, pack jumping around the animation is kind of kind of annoying. Finally, there's a rare, double rare. You have the Constellation class starship. Ships damaged by the ship are disabled. So, if the ship gets disabled, it's essentially knocked out for a turn and can't do anything. Can't attack. Can't uh. Can't retreat. Uh, we have Leah Brahms. At the start of your turn, grant two auxiliary power. Which is pretty... That's pretty decent. So you can put her in uh, one of the crew slots and then just constantly get auxiliary power off of her. So have the Olympic-class starship. At the start of your turn, heal your flagship for three. So your flagship is essentially your like your hero in Hearthstone. So you basically are healing health off of that. Here's our rare. We have a stolen runabout. When you play a ship, deal one damage to a random enemy ship. And then we have Dr. Flox. So play, restore four hit points to your flagship. Go back to the store. I'm actually going to get some more packs here. Let's do one of each. Just a Federation pack. Do another Klingon pack. 
and one more standard. All right, so I get, oh, there's a, I'm not sure if there's a legendary. So I guess you add double legendaries, or if we're going of Hearthstone colors, and the rare. So here's the battle cruiser. It has cloaking device, such as, say, a 5-2 with stealth. We have this thing, a 3-2 with stealth. We have K. Eller, play, uh, gain plus one attack for each other ship in stealth. Or with a cloaking device, basically, probably. We have here the IKS Ningta, which is cloaking device, play, gain plus one attack for each uh, each ship in stealth you control. So these two would work really well together. We also have the NOS. Looks like there's some artwork. This is early access. There's some artwork that isn't completely done yet. To play, somebody ran their ship from your deck into play. With the Federation pack. We have a Galaxy class. Um, commander, whatever that means. I'm not sure what Commander is. Gain Guardian. Engineer. Uh, ships attacking the ship are disabled. I guess maybe that's how you choose one or two options. We have the Keeper, which has jamming. We have the um, Venatic Hunting Ship. Um, let's see. 4-4 four, four Guardian, Core Breach, um, deal two damage to all ships. We have a Stolen Olympic Class. Again, takes damage to draw a card. And this one is USS Glenn, NCC 1030. Uh, has Guardian, when the ship takes damage, restore two hit points to your flagship. And finally, our standard pack. We have um, Joshim. Yeah, he was on an episode of TNG, I think. He was kind of like his character was kind of a dick, from what I remember. Um, core breach deal two damage to all enemy ships. It's USS Charleston. Uh, play deal three damage to the enemy flagship. Retreat summon two Galileo shuttlecrafts. Gala summon a Ferengi shuttle. We have the Acronian or Acronian Research Cruiser. When a family ship is destroyed, draw a card. Got one more card. Um, Alan Nekiev, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, let me see. Retreat. Play, retreat, target, friendly ship. So you can basically play it, retreat something, and get something out of harm's way. Kind of cool. All right, let's go and look at some of the other mechanics here. Let's go to the deck builder. See where that card get taken out of the deck. Okay, so here it says Guardian, enemies must attack it. Treat. These are all the core cards in the game. Okay, so commander, when the command command slot on the ship is filled, an effect is triggered. When the engineering slot is filled, and effects is triggered. Okay, that's what I thought. So, basically, you play it. You choose where your um, crew is going to go. Basically, it's an option. So, if you play um, Commander, you get Guardian. If you do Engineer, ships get disabled when you play it. That's pretty cool. So, we're going to go ahead and actually do this with a Klingon deck. I'm going to ready up and play. Okay, so we have three of five and four. I'll keep her. I'll get rid of these two. So again, again, this game is in early access. I may do more videos about this game. It's kind of interesting, but it feels, like I said earlier, it feels just almost too much like Hearthstone. But the mechanic that I like the most in this game is these crew cars that can basically go into your um, your ships. So we're starting at 50 and 30. It's Klingon versus Klingon. We can do this one. So Core Breach, summon a Volatile Bird of Prey. There's one um, Klingon I talked about earlier that when the ship that she is on gets destroyed, you get her back in your hand. So that just feels a little bit overpowered to me. So that has Core Breach as well. Klingons have a lot of Core Breach, so essentially it's a lot of Death Rattle. Anything else I can do here? No. 
Do they have a um, ship with a cloaking device and core breach? Okay, we can play that and summon a 1 1 Maquis scout. Uh, we can play her, gain plus one attack when a friendly ship is destroyed. I don't know if I want to put her on any ship of these ships, because these ships are just basically a 2 1 and a 1 1. If I put her on anything, it'll be that. Can't attack that because it has cloaking. At least that's had to swing right there. All right, it's back to me. I need to do two damage here to knock that out. I can't. We can do that. That one is, however, cloaked. You trade here. Play her on this ship. We'll summon a Bajoran freighter as well. Two one. We can trade of that one one or trade of that one one. That one is that one has core breach. They both have they're both the same ship. They both have core breach. So I guess core breach is gonna trigger. But I'll also get um, a bird of prey out of it. There we go. Our volatile bird of prey. We do our special. Is a two one core breach prototype. I'm gonna actually try to wait to get the ultimate. The ultimate for this is Target ship gains plus four attack and um, death rattle is triggered twice, basically. So that thing is still cloaked, I believe. Let's see. Yep, so I can't attack that because it's still cloaked. Battlecruiser is just a 6 7. Bad, deal two damage to a target. Wonder if that means I can choose that or not. Uh, we'll see. We'll do two damage there. And we'll swing in here. If I get up to nine, I can throw her onto the um, battle cruiser just because that's a 6-6. Six, six. See if I get the other one that lets you um lets you basically cycle it back into your hand. With a Kazon fighter, which is a 3-1 of haste. So who is crewed? Uh, this is her, yeah, it's Toral. So when this ship is destroyed, return Toral to your hand. That thing is still cloaked. That we can trade those two. Try to take that ship out. What is this here? Deal one damage to a target when played. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but we're going to crew her up in this. So now it's a 7 5. Do one damage to a target. We can also play our 3 1 with haste. They'll get her back in, the, in their hand, but at least that ship will be gone. So now her, her ability went off, I'll be able to do 8. Yeah, so whenever a ship, one of my ships gets destroyed, I'll get plus 1 attack. We are 9 5 now. I wonder if that's until the end of turn or until, um... Nope, just so it gets a plus one bonus. It's got, like, the Berserker in Hearthstone. Trample. Uh, when the ship destroys its target, remaining damage is done to the flagship. Okay. So we're basically getting some of these mechanics straight from, um, Magic and Hearthstone. Let's hit that for two. Let's bring out the Trample ship. 
Let's do nine to the enemy ship here. We'll see if they're going to be willing to trade of this, because this ship um, destroy either of those. Those are gone. Now at 10-4. I need to get something to let, let me repair that up. 11-4, okay. We have here. Play draws a card. Actually, see, ultimate. Target ship gains plus four attack. And all core effects trigger twice. I don't have any um, core effects, but we'll do the ultimate. That Make that thing plus four. Deal three damage to the target for each friendly ship that has been destroyed this turn. That doesn't really offer me. Let's see, core breach, summon two prototype birds of prey. We'll do that. Summon this ship as well. And oh, that's a six. I can't play that one. Draw a card. Do 15 there. And that'll be our turn. So, oh, they got a. Uh, they got Hugh on their ship. That ship just got knocked out, and that will be the game. If I could just, I'll just swing here right into them. They have a ship with. Is that Guardian? It's Guardian and Divine Shield, basically. Do you have anything with haste? Because that ship lost Guardian. No, it didn't. Looks like it still has it. That has Guardian. Let's see, Guardian. We don't have anything that we can. This. Nothing's been destroyed, though, so that's a wasteful card right there. We could go there. That'll kill that ship, though. I don't really want to have that ship die, but. No, we'll just end our turn. Actually, we'll do our special. They give target friendly ships core breach two deal da two damage to all enemy ships. I don't know. Now we'll trade that, and that should have death rattle on everything. Let's end. And that'll wipe those out. She, she died with honor, so it's all good. And now, it's their turn. We got a battle cruiser out. They need to do 17 damage to win. I have a 7 2, a 5 3, and a 1 1. There's Tyrol. No Guardian, so I can basically just. I can just swing in. It says, at the end of your turn, destroy the ship. That's kind of cool. There we go. So, as I was saying earlier, the Klingons feel much stronger. I think Starfleet, you're gonna, if you're playing a Starfleet, you're going to have to um, rely on just getting more shields. Um, so, that, that's kind of thematic. The Klingons are all aggro, and the Starfleet has to be... Starfleet decks have to be more strategic, basically. Um, I'm actually... Um, might consider making more videos about this. Um, again, it feels very, very much like Hearthstone. But I am really liking the mechanic with um, crew, uh, putting crew into your ships to have different effects. That one um, Klingon I had in that one ship, whenever another ship got defeated, her ship just got more, got stronger and stronger. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll be doing more videos about this game in the future. Again, this game is currently in early access. And... That's about it. So remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.